Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine two or more PDFs into one. So this is very simple and I'm going to show you how you can do that. First of all, to do this, you would need Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Pro. I think I've already made other videos on, let's say, certain websites where you can actually go and combine PDFs by a more professional and secured way of combining PDFs is to use Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Pro. We have the Adobe Acrobat Reader, um, the free version, but that one, you might not be able to do this, you know, so it would be nice you upgrade in case it's not working for you. Try anyway. So it's very, very simple. If you would like to combine PDFs, it's very, very, very simple. Okay. So if we should check over here, Let's, um, I think, I don't know whether I don't have any separate PDF files. Um, okay, let me open this. For instance, in this particular uh, folder here, I have all these files here. As you can see, they are 21 in number. And I may be interested in combining, I could choose to combine, for instance, this one, page one and maybe page 11 or page 12, whichever ones that I want to combine, or I may want to combine all of these into simply one PDF. So I'll show you how you can do that. So let me close this. First of all, simply open your Adobe Acrobat Reader DC app. If it's on, if you have the shortcut on your desktop, fine. If you don't have it, you simply check in your Windows search box on your tax bar and type Adobe Acrobat Reader DC and uh, you should be able to find it. Now, I have it on my desktop, so I simply click on it this way and, uh, and open it for you. Okay, so I'll open my Adobe Acrobat Reader DC right here. And once you open your Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, as I have done, simply come and click on Tools. And when you click on Tools, you will find what combine files okay now you simply click on combine files in case you'd like to know how to let's say split uh, pdfs or extract certain pages of a pdf into separate or combined form i've already done that like how to organize pages i've already made videos on that i don't know whether i've uploaded them or not but please subscribe and you have made a lot of videos on adobe and I've also made videos on, let's say, how to create certificate signature. And please look up on my channel. You'll be able to find a lot of interesting content on Adobe. I can guarantee you that. Thank you so much. And let's move on. Please subscribe and let's move on. So once you are here, simply click on Combine Files. And once you click on Combine Files, you simply click on Add Files. When you click on Add Files, you simply browse and select your files. So in my case, I think I have them on a the desktop. So I simply go to my desktop. I'm sorry, my PC is in French. So if you see anything like Bureau, it means desktop. Sorry for that. So I simply go to my desktop and then I have it here, for instance, in this particular folder here. And then in the case where I'm interested in, let's say, combining, um, let's say I'm interested in combining the first two pages or let's say this particular file here then all you need to do is select the files that you want to combine for instance i select this first one that i want to combine this one for instance then i press and hold the control key and i can move on and select this one select that one select that one select all the files that i need right random just select all the files that i need and then i click on open but in a case where I just want all the files in this particular folder, in that case, I'll simply do what? I'll simply uh, press Ctrl and A. So once I press on Ctrl and A, it selects everything. Okay, so I, I, I've just pressed on Ctrl and A. It has selected all the 21 files. And I'll simply go ahead and click on Open. Now, once you click on open, everything shows up here and you have all the 21 files available here. 
and if you would like to combine them then you simply go ahead and hit the combine option but before that let me show you other stuffs um, you might be interested sometimes depending on how the files are named okay when you import the files the files might not be uh, in the right order so you have to be very careful about that about the naming make sure you name them numerically or in a file alphabetical order or whatever that naming system that you have to adapt to make sure that when the files are imported in Adobe they are organized as you want them in case they are not properly organized you still have the choice of uh, placing them where you want for instance if I know that if I notice that page one is misplaced or let's say page 5 is mis this particular page here page 6 is misplaced it's supposed to be 5 or whatever I can simply left click and hold and drag it to wherever that I want if I want it down here bring it here if I want it here left click and hold and drag it wherever you want okay if I want it here then just drag it here okay you can organize your files the way you want them to be you know you just take your time and do whatever that you want organize them the way you want and then in the case where you want to add some additional files it's also very very possible if you would like to add some additional files let me show you how all you have to do is to simply come and click on let's say add files here as you want to add additional files then you click on add files for instance and then you can search in other folders let's assume I want to add slide or whatever 14 for instance so i just select it and hit open you notice that it has been added but let's assume i want it to come before the the bibliography so i can just click on it like i told you and drag it to wherever i want it to be i want it to be maybe here it should be here now the other thing that you have to notice is in the case where you want to remove a file it's very simple you simply place your cursor on the file and then you simply click on delete if I hit on the delete button it goes in case you want to view the file what it actually contains just click on this plus button and then the file is zoomed for you to read and see what it is so I can zoom zoom in to zoom out simply click outside and it goes back you know to delete simply click on it and then click on delete and it's gone here we also have I don't know options here if you have the time explore okay but these ones I don't think it's really necessary so once I've organized my files the way I want them to be organized everything is nice then I can simply go ahead and click on what combine so once you click on combine you go through all the files and once that is done your file will be combined into a single PDF file as you can see now I have 20 20 pages file here and the next step is to save it where you want to save it so to save it simply click on file click on save as preferably I'll put it on my computer of course click on choose whatever click on I'll put it on my desktop for instance and I'll create a new folder that I'll call let's say um, combined PDFs oh, combined PDFs okay now the folder is created on the desktop make sure you select the right folder that you've created and you can now edit the name it was called binder because it's a bind file so you cannot put the exact name that you want to give it okay so let's assume i want to name it let's say this particular name here of the article which is sobd in the workplace so I just write sobd in the workplace you know and mental blah 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 I don't have to put everything then make sure you select the right folder combine PDFs hit open and then hit save 
Once you do that, close your file, come to your desktop, open the folder in question, and I have it right here. Sorry, let me open it. Thank you so much for watching, and this is how you can actually combine PDFs using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Pro. See you in the next video. Bye.